Roses are red, violets are blue. I am making red velvet cake mix cookies and so should you. It's really genius, honestly, to turn a cake mix into a cookie. Red velvet cookies are just like red velvet cake. They're chocolate, they're red for no other reason than just being fun. And they're studded with these white chocolate chips, which kind of harkens to the cream cheese frosting that is expected on any good red velvet cake. Follow along for a super, super easy cookie dough that start to finish takes less than 45 minutes. So the first thing we wanna do is whisk together our two eggs, our half teaspoon of kosher salts, and our one half cup of vegetable oil. Okay, to this, now you just add the contents of one box of red velvet cake mix. It's gonna get too thick for your whisk, so you'll wanna switch it up for a spatula or a spoon. If you think about it, a cake mix already has all of the sugar and the flour and the flavorings in it. So what we're doing is we're kind of like taking advantage of all of those packaged together and adding different ingredients to make something that's more chewier and softer, like a cookie, rather than something fluffy and cakey. And now that my batter has come together, I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of white chocolate chips. I'm gonna pop this in my fridge for about 20 minutes. And this just gives all of the dry ingredients the time that they need to hydrate before we roll them into balls and bake them. All right, into the fridge this goes. My dough is done chilling. And so I'm just gonna scoop out heaping tablespoonfuls of the dough and separate them at least two inches apart on the baking sheet. It's really important that they're two inches apart because this cookie dough has quite a lot of oil in it. And so the cookies are gonna spread considerably. You don't want them running together because that will just make a mess when you're trying to get the cookies off of the baking sheet. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and these are gonna go in for 10 to 12 minutes. As always with cookies, make sure you rotate your baking sheet halfway through baking so that the cookies bake evenly. And we're just looking for the edges to be lightly browned and for the center of the cookie to not look wet anymore. As I said, you'll notice that they've expanded and they'll be pretty puffy, um, but they'll deflate a little bit as they cool to make a really tender, chewy cookie. My cookies have come out of the oven and I'm just gonna let them sit here and chill for about 10 minutes before transferring them to a wire rack to finish cooling. Before we go any further, be sure to like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of our fun recipe videos in the future. My red velvet cookies have cooled and it's time for me to give them a try. They're crisp tender around the edge, so they have a little bit of chew, but the center is just super, super soft and tender. Almost cakey, but um, a little too gooey to be cakey, which in my opinion is really, really nice. Um, these cookies would be lovely in a holiday spread because they look really festive but they'd also be good any time of year. And you can use any cake mix. So if you wanna experiment with this recipe and throw your favorite box cake mix in, feel free to give it a try. In fact, if you give our recipe a try, please let us know in the comments below because we'd love to hear from you and know how it goes. All right, until next time, thanks, bye.